In terms of the investigation of, of price signalling, this follows the Dawn Raid, which took place in the last part of 2011, which in turn was three years after the repeal of the Liner Conference Block exemption. And um, uh, so far as I'm aware, the um, price signalling investigation continues and the lines have been considering whether to settle the case. Um, I mean, essentially, in order to prove um, illegitimate um, price arrangements, what the European Commission would have to show is that there was an underlying agreement or concerted practice between the liner companies to follow a price lead by one of them. So in other words, if liner A announced a price increase, was there a underlying understanding that liner B would do the same and liner C and liner D and so on? On the other hand, if the, if the price signalling was just purely unilateral and there was no underlying agreement, then on the basis of current law it would be hard to see how that was unlawful. Market volatility in itself it doesn't prove whether or not there was an agreement or not, because what really matters is whether there was coordination.